Welcome to High School Chemistry. My name is Kelsey and I am here to share everything I know about high school level chemistry. This is designed to be a resource for classroom teachers that are looking for some information to help supplement or help their students outside of the classroom. This is great for high school kids that are looking for a little more study help or looking to hear the content again in a different way. And this platform that I'm doing here, this channel is going to be fantastic for anybody who is interested in homeschool chemistry. I'm designing this just like I would uh, my high school chemistry classes in a regular classroom. So this is going to be the best that I can give on YouTube. Again, my name is Kelsey. I've been teaching chemistry for six years now. And in that time, I've probably taught around 700 kids um, it, this is truly my passion. I love doing it and I'm so excited to share with you. So we can start with what is chemistry. Chemistry is a study of matter and its changes. And unfortunately, there is not a very specific definition beyond this. Uh, chemistry is a human concept where we are here to study nature. So in some cases, chemistry kind of sounds like um, physics and sometimes physics sounds like chemistry, but it's truly humans that have made the distinction between what is chemistry and what is physics. So here I'm going to help to distinguish um, what is classically considered chemistry and what you would learn in a high school chemistry classroom. So what we're going to do on this channel, I'm going to do something just like this where I'm going to teach you content with a presentation, diagrams, text, examples, and that is what the bulk of the videos are going to be. Secondly, we are going to um, head down to my kitchen and we're gonna do some science experiments. Now, you can just watch and enjoy, and that's great and fantastic, but a lot of these are going to be even better if you can follow along. So anytime we are in my kitchen, I will tell you exactly what you need, and I will tell you all of the safety considerations that you need to take along to be safe in the lab. Um, it's also important to make sure that if you are um, a child, that you make sure you have some type of parent permission or um, supervision for some of these labs. Some of them are really simple, um, but you should still make sure that somebody's looking after you. Never lab alone, just like swimming. Um, and then finally, I want to provide some practice questions so that no matter what we're doing, um, you can leave the video feeling like you've learned something and that you're confident in a new skill. Now, um, in order to get the most out of this playlist, this class of all of the chemistry things I can offer, I'm going to give you some tips. You should definitely be writing things down, not only because you can look back on it later, but also it is going to translate into your brain better if you can write things down. I mean, some some kids prefer typing, um, but if you're just going to screenshot the videos, my guess is that you're not going to go back to the screenshots. Just my opinion as a teacher, um, writing things down is really going to help. I also suggest that when you write things down, you take down the title of the video and then um, the timestamp of when these particular things are happening so that if you find that there's something that you don't quite understand or need to go back to, you know exactly what video and exactly what timestamp you need to go to to hear it again. I think you should also quiz yourself on topics. There's lots of ways to do this. Um, I'm gonna provide free resources as often as I can in the description box. So make sure to take a look there if you're looking for more practice. Um, okay, chemistry is big time vocabulary. In my classroom, my students are probably learning 300 vocabulary terms. And I know that sounds like a lot, but it's super important that you are well versed in the vocabulary. This way, um, anytime I'm talking to you, you, you understand what I'm saying. If you don't know the difference between an atom and a molecule, um, understanding intermolecular forces is going to be really difficult. So definitely keep up with the vocabulary. I will redefine things as often as I can, but make sure that you have a good, deep, rich understanding of those terms. Um, we already spoke about reviewing videos. I definitely suggest writing those timestamps. You should be pausing the videos to take a second to think, 
um, to answer a question or just to kind of sit and digest what I have just shared with you. It is also a good idea um, to maybe slow down the video if you need to hear it. You can go into like that little settings gear and instead of playing it back at normal speed, you can play it back at 0.75. Sometimes hearing it a little bit slower, especially on the tough topics, is going to be super helpful. And then lastly, there are plenty of online resources that you can use to help you study chemistry. And like I said, I'm going to provide links to those as often as I can. Now, this course has been organized into 15 different units, and they're laid out here. I don't really want to go into them too much because they're they're kind of a lot. Um, I will say that most of America is going to learn units one through 10 and then 12. Um, the parts of America where we are going to um, dive in deeper, I say give a richer understanding of what chemistry is and is going to be um, a more worthwhile experience. You're here, you may as well learn it. Um, I traditionally have taught as much of this as possible. Most of my time teaching, I have taught all of these units. In fact, um, unit 13 is one of my favorites and it's one that's not really taught everywhere. It's the chemistry of batteries, it's really cool. Um, but some people would consider that physics. So that's why it's not always included in a chemistry content. So if you were using this course as a homeschool course, uh, and you are comparing this YouTube course to your state standards that are provided, some of these things may not show up, but it's, it's not any tougher. It's going to be so much fun, and I think you're going to love it. Additional resources you can use to help you with chemistry. I have a store on Teachers Pay Teachers where I have both paid and free resources to help. Um, I have a blog. I'll link that as well. That is some resources more so for the homeschool teacher or for a classroom teacher on some of the ways that I would teach these things in a classroom setting. And then you should not just be using these videos to help you learn. Of course, I would love for you to be here, but if you find that there's a topic that you're not quite understanding, of course, feel free to ask questions in the comment section, but you can also use another video to hear the same content in a different way. So thank you for being here. I can't wait to see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. I want to let you know quickly before you go that this course is going to be releasing videos for the most part Monday through Friday um, and that the course in its totality should finish by the end of March. So if you are um, here for the full ride, that's what we're looking at. And I'm so glad that you're here. Thanks. See you next time.